my name is Amaranta Sanlis, and I am a teaching artist and a mixed media artist from Seattle. And today we are going to celebrate Book Date and Children's Date, which is an international day uh, that is to emphasize on the, you know, reading books to children. So we are going to be making, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a four hole punch uh, homemade journal um it's very simple it does require some uh steps but i'm gonna walk you through and um let's start so the first thing um i have my car stuff paper here i have uh texture papers i have different papers in here uh some of the papers that you can add to your journal could be uh, maps and this paper that is uh, for practicing letters printed paper um, and I also have the uh, scrapbook paper which it has a lot of textures and I also found some corrugated paper too that I'm gonna be using so the first thing we're gonna do uh, you're gonna grab a sheet of uh, maybe just a white piece of paper because we're gonna have a template for your spine. We're gonna fold it in half, and then we're gonna fold it one more time in half. And you are gonna end it up with something like this. You're also gonna fold this lengthwise once, twice, and you're gonna mark a whole, uh, place a dot in it because once you hole punch the four of them, just like the example right here, you'll be able to have a spine that is gonna hold your journal and it's placed in uh, equal spaces between this um, length of a paper. So I have it ready for, um, I'm gonna do this right now. Uh, give me a hole punch. If you are doing this and if you have a hard time using a hole punch, just ask a grown up to help you. Here we go. So the second thing we're gonna do, we are going to work on the cover of our journal. So I have a lot of textures in here and one good way to balance these textures is just to add a solid paper so i'm gonna do this red paper right here and i also gonna add just a little bit of car stuff uh, corrugated paper and maybe i'm gonna add a little hard i taped this because i wasn't too sure what i wanted maybe i'll change my mind Maybe I'll have, maybe I all can arrange this three in different. Once you're once you're happy with whatever the arrangements of colors, then you can glue that. There you go. Okay, so I think I might like that one better. Uh, good. So. I am going to bring all my papers together and I'm going to place this uh, spine and I'm going to trace some holes in it because I'm going to start cutting this. You need to cut maybe like two or three at a time. Um, in this case, I already have this uh, hole punch, but I have not quite yet hole punch this one. So I already traced my circles. Otherwise, if you try to do all 12 pages at once, it's going to be really, really hard. And here we go. I'm going to place this right on the edge and I'm going to trace four circles and then I'm going to cut this. Um, I like to do this journal, especially when I'm traveling, 
just to record the places I go, the places, the places where I had, um, you know, I had visited, the food that I ate. So here we go. It doesn't really matter the order where you want to start. You can leave maybe the um, traveling at the end and bring this together. So that's the front. That's my context right here. And that is the back of my paper. Give it a little, a little, um, you know, try to place it in the middle and bring them all together. One trick that I can give you is that if your papers don't completely align, you could get a pencil and try to find the hole. And at the end, we could, and at the end, wow, we could trim that a little bit. So one, two, here we go. Have two paper clips ready. So I'm gonna place one right here. So I find my holes. I have not find the other one. There we go. And I'm gonna place the other one right here. So I have all the pieces of paper that I want. Now I'm gonna cut a three a foot of a string. It could be a piece of yarn, it could be a rubber elastic core or anything that you can use to bind this. So um, I'm going to number for the purpose of this video. I'm going to number this one, two, three, and four. And that is going to help us. So I'm going to have to undo this. And I'm going to place this one more time right here. And remember, have your pencil handy. And we're going to hold on to this. Open your journal and find the middle of it, any page you like. So I'm going to start by threading my string on hole number two, I'm sorry, hole number three, which is right here, and pull that up. Leave some string right here because we're going to use this to tie when we um, bind the journal. Okay, so I am, here's my other... You might want to spend some good amount of time in here just to have all the uh, holes aligned. Here we go. So, uh, one of the things that I do with the kids is that I try to give them directions how we're going to do this book binding by going north, south, east, west. So, I'm going to go south on hole number four. No, wait a minute. Sorry, no, that was not the one. So we're gonna start on three, and I, by accident, I can tell I pulled too much. I need this to be loose, even showing here, it's okay. Okay, so number three, I'm gonna wrap this hole back again on number three. If this is not enough, you can just kind of pierce this a little bit. Here we go. Now we're gonna go to, we'll go south to hole number four. We're gonna thread this through, and then we're gonna thread this to the left. Just wrap that around. Give me a little tug. I'm gonna get rid of this because I need to come back here. Okay, so now I'm gonna wrap this going all the way up, uh, making a 90 degree angle here. 
So we have our 90 degree angle. Good. Then I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to go back to hole number three. Pull it. Go north. Now go to hole punch number two. Wrap that around. We're done. Mm -hmm. And the string is from the back. We are going to pass this through hole number one. is falling apart and I know that we won't be able to do that so I need to put a tiny little bit of thread in here so I can finish okay so I'm gonna pass this to number one one more time I'm gonna take this paper clip off if you notice, there's a space right here, but that's okay. That's kind of what you want. You're going to do the 90 degree uh, angle of thread on top of it. Come on, come on. Here we go. And we're gonna go back. Now we're kind of going uh, back to number three. So then again, if you won't be able to see this hole, just give it a little twist with your pencil and you'll find it. That's number two. And that is the last one, the middle one between two and three, that should be the last one. For this one, I'm going to find my other end and I'm gonna thread this last one back to number three and I'm gonna tie a little knot in here so have extra thread just in case because mine ripped but I was able to fix it I'm gonna cut a little the end of the uh, string and one thing I like to do, I'm going to place my, it doesn't matter what size your star, I'm gonna place my ruler here and I'm gonna bend this over and bring this back over. And I'm gonna do that with all the pages because I want to, it's gonna be a lot easier if you, once you open your journal for, do any writing you can use your hands or you can use your use your um the ruler same here because that is going to help you especially this one there we go okay and then for this page um you could do, uh, you can write your name in here. For the last one, I have a little envelope right here. And that could be a really fun thing to add in here. I collect stamps. So I found a space, I found a house for all the uh, postal stamps that people send and I just cut it out because they're really cool looking. So I'm gonna staple this to the side. And it could be for anything. I mean, if you like to collect flowers um, or, you know, bus tickets when you travel or um, coins, you can just, they can live there. And it's just a fun, fun activity. So there you have it. That is your, uh, four whole Japanese binding to celebrate book date and children's day 
which is observed on April 30th. So thank you much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.